welcome back to another video um in this one i opened some of my new products that i received these are just some clips from a market that i went to last weekend which was pretty slow um it was a free to attend one but just a nice reminder that not all markets will be successful i did buy this cute little chonky bean from jingle crochets i was very excited about that but me and april just hung out we were vibing enjoying the nice weather and eating some local made snacks so it was still fun still a good time hello oh my god why do i always have such bad eye bags hold on let me move you i must show you oh my god okay hello um so um hello 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 i told i maybe i think mentioned in one of my shop talks that I was going to try ordering some things that are not crochet things because... Ugh. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're kind of stinky. <laughs> okay, so I remember, I think I mentioned in one of my shop talks that I wanted to try designing some products that I could order or like manufacturer type thing so that I don't have to go as ham when I'm crocheting. <laughs> and I did. So I ordered some prints, which are going to arrive later today. And I also arrived, also arrived, I also ordered some tote bags. These are all from Vista Prints. They're a little more expensive than I thought they were gonna be. Um, but they just got here. Oh, I already opened it, sorry. This is half an unboxing, but it's the simple white tote bag. I ordered, I think, 20 of them. Actually, my packing slip should be in here. I think I ordered 20. There's one packing Or I just can't find it. 10. I don't know, but I ordered 20 of them. Here they are. Let me just, uh, there, there we go. There we go. What do you think? There we go. Wow, yeah. You like that? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's got, it's the confused frog. There's a bunch of tulips and then there's a frog flower. And he's like, why am I here? I'm not, I'm not a flower. I'm so excited. It's just like a standard white basic tote. It's not that exciting. There is exciting for me but <laughs> there is like a little bit of like um you know like a two inch so it's not just like a like a two pieces of cloth together which I think is the cheapest one you can get um this one came out to it's cheaper the more you order I ordered 20 and it came out to seven dollars each which is kind of expensive so I don't know if I'm gonna make <laughs> more of these but it is fun, and I kind of just, look, I made this. I made that. I made it. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I've seen, like, some people get a sewing machine, and they make their own tote bags, and they can add, like, pockets and stuff, and it's, it seems like a, it's like a lot of work. <laughs> I don't actually in grade seven I won the sewing award um did my friend help me with a lot of it maybe did I only make a pillowcase yes but you know what I just... anyway I'm really excited they're gonna be at my market this weekend it'll be the first time the straps are kind of long I don't do I like that I guess I do just uh oh you know I'm just getting just getting my groceries oh you need you need my wallet oh sh Oh, my bag? Oh, yes, it's from me with April. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll show you the prints when they get here, but I was just, I couldn't wait. I was like, just a print unboxing, and then I was like, absolutely not. I need to open these. I have no patience. Wow. Oh, here's a quality check. There's, um, pretty good on not see-through at all, so that's good. It seems pretty sturdy. That made me kind of nervous, but actually, it's really good. Okay, now let's do it for real. It seems good. There are, like, some threads 
coming out. Can you see that? But it seems pretty good. Um, yeah, I might. I think I'm gonna try ordering from somebody local if I order more. I know Vistaprint can be cheaper for some cases. For the prints, I also got from Vistaprint, but um, I've been talking to some other local small businesses, and they've recommended like a local printer guy. It's probably not just one guy; it's probably like a whole business. But um, I might try ordering some stuff from them. So we will see. But for now. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll show you the prints when I get here. Wait, I can't. Fat for it. I love it. Talk to like this. Come here. <laughs> it's still frozen, but we got chicken. We got what else we got in here? Oh, I got a lot. Hold on. They're all underneath. I got a bunch of different flavors. Chicken, there's turkey, and I think there's beef at the bottom too. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta open it for you first. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one out to defrost because it's still very frozen. Yeah, it's um, he's just gonna have to eat kibble today because we're all out for breakfast. But you can have food for dinner. You can have it for dinner. I put them all in the freezer here. And April's kind of picky, so it's nice to have different. These are the beef ones, chicken, and turkey here. So that's good. Oh my gosh, our freezer is so messy. I also literally could not fit everything. Don't ask me why I have three packs <laughs> the same kind of dumplings from Superstore. Um, I gotta throw some of this stuff away, but yeah, it is. I do make a little bit of money if you use my code made with April um, to get your first box for 50% off. But like I buy all of these. Like we we are on a subscription plan. I order these out of my own pocket and I love them. And like honestly, this little pull tab, you can't see it, but like this little pull tab. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why that's like one of my biggest things, but 10 out of 10, give me food. <laughs> All right, later, later, later. They came. The pegs. They're kind of hard to, Ugh, wait, hold on, what? Okay. <laughs> okay, let us try it. Oh no, this does not work at all.
It's a little bit less. Like if I put them all evenly spaced out. I don't know. I kind of like it like doubled. So it's, you can tell this is like, eh, actually I lied. All right, let me go get the new prints I got. Let me, how do I zoom out? Oh my god, why did the color change? Okay, let me get my prints. I'll put the prints here. I think I'll take this shelf out. Okay, hold on. Okay. This is what it looks like. I don't know if I like it or not. It, my prints don't really match. <laughs> so maybe, maybe if I step back, ignore like this whole... <laughs> This whole mess. I also can't put these flowers on the top ledge because there's not enough space. Also, like, the pegs kind of stand out a lot. I don't know. I don't know. What if I put the prints at the top? But then this would be the highest shelf. I don't know. Also, like, these keep sticking forward because they're, like, technically... It's, like, higher than, than that, so... It stays okay, but I could put a piece of tape to secure it. That's no problem. I just don't know if I like it. I feel like it looks a little messy. Or is it, like, is it efficient or is it messy? I don't know. I'll try it on Saturday, but anyway. This is, I also have more keychains than this, so I don't know. I might have to group some of them. Like, I could group these two. And then put the other one here. The other one's a small one though, so maybe... Because before I had to use this, because the pegs... These pegs were too fat. So this could not go around it, and none, like, none of these holes were big enough. But like, these regular ones... Also, I'm so inconsistent with my, like, keychain rings. These are new. I like these. But I didn't order enough of them. Also, I didn't want to order more because the rest of my things are all silver. These are just for this. I ordered, I think like 50 of each. I don't have 50 of each of these, but they're cute. I like them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to stand here and stare at it for a little bit. And then I think I have to organize the rest of my setup and then we'll see if it's coherent or not. I don't know. I can also move the pegs so I have more space here and then put the strawberry up. Okay. I think I like that better. This is like not actually maybe up here okay because that's all on the same level now and then although you can't really see i think i need to put these like because i want people to know what kind of connector thing it is and then look at the little bee okay 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 i think that's everything i have for those ones but I wanted to make the dragonflies into keychains. In theory, they could go here. Um, or I can double up the ducks and the fruit. Actually, I'm going to stop making these ones once I'm out. I'm just not feeling them anymore. I should also probably put switch these two so that the strobe is next to the other fruit. And this one. Anyway, I'm just going to be standing here for the next like 30 minutes moving. <laughs> Talk. I don't know. Let's um, put these dog treats away. Um, okay. Can I see better if I block off everything? I think that's cute, actually. I do actually. You know what? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Kiss. Okay. Okay, this is... This is another option. I have the flowers here. And then on this stand, I have the prints. Oh my god, there's dog treats everywhere. The prints and then like the little containers here. Because originally I was going to say, oh, I could just put these. Oh no, can I pick them all up? In front of this. Because that kind of works. Also, the stand is really skinny, so I'll have room in front. 
But like, I don't know if I like that. I feel like you just don't really look at it because your eyes are like, wow, there's so much to look at here. Whereas on this one, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. God, maybe if I space them out the same, my eyes are just like not looking at that. I need to like, oh shoot, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh damn, okay, this is like gonna fall out though. Why are there so many red ones? Okay, note to self, people do, do not, oh, okay, people, people do not like red and orange. Oh my god, okay, I need to make more of the other colors. Wait, all the pink and purple ones, oh, there's some pink ones, all the blue and purple ones are gone. No, okay, I gotta fix that. But anyway, let me remove this, I mean, there's, um, ignore him. I think this is actually, oh, but now it's blocking the prints. Anyway, I think I like that better. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. This is so hard. I don't know. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Um, look at this little fan I got. Wow. Okay. Um... I have a market this weekend I'm very excited for. I've been making... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, I've been making more keychains. Because, I don't know, I've just been obsessed with keychains lately. I've been making a lot of <laughs> lavenders and things. And... Um the tote bags and I also I also could not wait and opened it already sorry I just immediately opened everything but let me show you what I got it is also from Vista Prints okay, we just went to Costco and came back and I'm like tired but here's what I got first of all I got new thank you cards wow it says thank you for your support and then it says tag me at made with april the camera's on that side but i keep looking this way Da -da. wow so if you place an order after the day that i film this you will get one of these with your order wow and then i've been drawing a little bit lately i had some frog prints that i printed for literally the very first market that i did in like February. I sold them at that market. I sold them at the market in March and then I never sold them again because I think in total I made $15 and I spent maybe $50 on printing all of them. I can't remember how many I got. So I was like that was a waste of money but I gave them out for, for free to people who um you know, followed me on Instagram or just like if they, if we were talking and, you know, they mentioned that they were going to follow me or something like that. And it was really cute. And now I've been drawing more. I need to cut these open. Okay. I already, I need to cut open this one. There's some that I cut open already. So I have a couple that are not new and I drew them before and I just reprinted them. And I think I'm going to actually sell prints now because cute okay i think they're pretty cute the theme originally was frogs and then i decided i didn't want to do a theme i just wanted to draw whatever so now there's some frogs and some dogs and some actually they're all either frogs or dogs And the good thing about Vistaprint is you don't have to order that many. It does get cheaper the more that you order. But again, same with the tote bags. I want to try ordering local. It's also faster if I order local, I think. But let me start by showing you the two I am most excited about. I drew these all on my boyfriend's iPad. This is Taku. Can you tell I, I discovered brushes? <laughs> There's like a grid brush, grid, grid, 
and like a polka dots brush and I was immediately obsessed and there's a matching April one except she doesn't have all her spots this is like young April sort of <laughs> her coloring is too complicated but wow it's them too also I always picture April as a black cat so originally I was just gonna kind of draw whiskers and make her kind of like a cat but she ain't a cat she a dog so I have these two guys these two my babies my literal babies and then I'll just pull out one of each to show you guys. I need a way to organize this because I don't know how I'm going to bring this around yet. But this one is new. If I can get it out. Ugh. They're like shrink wrapped. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, there's like a, a wrap around it. Oh my god, it's so slippery. There's like a band that I need to remove with my handy dandy pocket knife. That's gonna be easier. Garbage. I got these. <sighs> um, cute, right? There's a cat. Oh, I guess there are cats then. It's a Pylea plant from when I made a pilea plant in like my second ever youtube video where i was like let's make plants and then you can't it the quality so bad of that <laughs> oh it's kind of glossy i thought i ordered matte these ones are this one is matte these two are matte this one you can see is kind of glossy hmm hmm i'll have to check that they're all glossy well anyway it's cute though I like that one a lot. And then I have some simpler ones, which are the first ones that I made, which are... Okay, I have to take it out. Cause just... Oh, that's not it. Oh, look, there's a coupon. Here, use code GET20 for $20 off your order of 100 off. I think they send that with you every time you buy anything. Actually, I can just show you in here. What? Oh, no. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> it's like a frog and a duck. And it goes either way, but the frog is supposed to be on the bottom. And then, I'm like way too high energy right now. We've got, let me open my computer while I'm here. So I can look up. Can you not pull out like 17 at once? I've seen some people have like some cute file folders and methods of like bringing prints. Kind of like this box <laughs> that it came in, but it's just like too big. Like I'm not gonna bring all of these because historically they did not sell very well, so I'm just gonna bring some. But I have this little frog holding a daisy and it's wearing a tulip hat which also kind of looks like a lily of the valley, but pink. And the last one I have is this one, which was like the very first one I drew. And originally I was gonna put this on a tote bag. You know what, maybe I could if I keep making tote bags. Although I kind of did the same kind of like mosaic, wait, like the three, three by three, and then with the two of, or with the frog tulip. This is frogs and a duck, which is not camouflaging that well, but there's that one. So that's kind of a set. So there's kind of the two dog ones. Oh, I have to cut the band off this. They all come with this little band around. I don't know if you can see it. Not really. You can see it when I cut it off though. Look. Um, hello. There's like a little plastic band around to keep them. I don't know. This is a lot of protection. They're definitely in great condition due to all of the excess packaging. But yeah. So yeah, I have all those. I have the thank you cards. So they're ready to go for the market. I'm very excited. 
Um, they all come with these little like protective barrier papers. Do, do, do. Day is good. I'm probably just gonna go in and take all the bands off so that I don't have to deal with that during the market. This is a lot of extra like recycling. I'm probably I could cut these up and use them as like packaging, like padding. So I have those. I'm gonna try selling them. I'll probably do like I've seen people sell them for like five bucks each. And then I'll probably just do like buy two get one free because there are so many matching ones that you could easily make like a little three ba 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 or like a ba 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 type of set. So that might be cute. I think I'll do that. And then is that too expensive? Actually no, because stickers are like three to five dollars. So prints should be at least five dollars, I think. Ordered some pegs for the little round collection small board thing that I got from Vertical Ledge, the one that's like. Whoop. And I also got a new banner. <gasps> Let me show you. Actually, I'll put it on the screen because it's just... But I started with... Like, I basically just made a general design and then I used Canva, which is a free program that lets you... It comes with, like, a whole bunch of different templates for, like, Instagram posts, like, flyers, menus, PowerPoints. So you can even edit videos on there. Like, my very first YouTube video was edited on Canva, which is, like, kind of cringe, but, like... <laughs> anyway so there's that i've been using that a lot none of this is sponsored this is just what i use um the prints were drawn on procreate and yeah i feel more and more i've been obsessed recently with doing a convention like absolutely obsessed like watching so many youtube videos of like um people doing artist alley and their experiences doing conventions i've also been watching lots of videos of like craft fairs there's not actually a lot in Calgary. Have I done any craft? They're they're all I don't know if I would call them craft fairs. They're like makers markets. But there's a lot of um sticker fests and like renegade craft fair and stuff in I don't know, is that West Coast? I don't know. But they have a lot and they're so cute. And everybody's boots are so cute. And everything at AX was so cute and I'm obsessed. And I really want to sell stickers and prints and to some extent I'm kind of like, oh I can't do that. You're a crochet girl. You need to sell mm. crochet things. Um, no, I'm going to sell whatever I want, okay? Because I want to make that, okay? If I'm going to make it, I feel like people like it, then I'll sell it. So, you know what? Look, I made this. Wow, a little mushroom. Wow. But um, I didn't put poly beads in it, and it does not stand up very well. <laughs> um, so, working on it. But... I put lights in it. I don't know if you can see it. So it'll light up. And as you can see, there's no switch for it because I crocheted it into the pot by accident. Um, so there is a switch for it. I can feel it. Like, I don't know if you can see that, like, when I push down really hard, it doesn't, there's like a disc here yeah and then unfortunately the button is in the middle on the top of this disc in all the stuffing so um she lights up but i just cannot turn it on <laughs> it's cute though i'm gonna make some more and then the only thing is like these things are very small and it's gonna be kind of expensive because of the light and there's so many like of these little ones and the the assembly but this is a new thing that I might make. I might might make. And yeah. So things I've been working on recently. Keychains, prints, tote bags. These light things, light up plants, maybe. Everyone keeps saying I should make the plant from Tangled. I say everyone. Every single time I say everyone, I actually mean like maybe two people. <laughs> That's a lot of people to me, okay? um but yeah also if you're like dang tina that's a lot of roses i can't remember if i mentioned that in a last video but i got a inquiry email from somebody in the u.s on the east coast i will not name names but they were running a pride event and they were like hey we love your stuff would you be willing to do kind of a wholesale order 
and I had literally the day before watched a video by Crochet by Gemma and it was like her doing a, a wholesale order and she was like oh this isn't worth it because you have to like price a little bit cheaper and you know obviously crochet the materials aren't that expensive yarn is is relatively cheap however the time is the biggest thing right so if I make my things cheaper suddenly I am paying myself less hourly of a wage or less less of an hourly wage so I agreed to do it at a very slight discount and then immediately regretted it because it was so many it there's so many there's like a whole bunch of colors there's blue ones too you can't see them because they're like in the back also I don't know why I only have purple yarn there there's also blanket yarn at the ball oh, you can't see it anyway <laughs> I made a whole bunch and then I didn't take a deposit, I didn't take a payment, it wasn't through like fair or anything, it was just they emailed me and asked and I was like yeah sure I can do that. And then I did it and then I was like oh I didn't take a deposit or anything, I, I had a deadline, you know we kind of had an outline of how much how much they needed, what I was able to provide, whatever. I made them all and then they ghosted me. So yeah. If you're gonna do that make sure you take a deposit because it's not really the season for roses right now and I have a lot of roses so probably won't have to make any of those until like Valentine's Day next year but yeah um it's fine it's whatever that's why I have a lot of rose bouquets on my website right now but but yeah um learning experience now I know for the future <laughs> It's okay <laughs> yeah um uh, other than that i guess that's it i don't have anything else i want to talk about right now i'm just really excited to make some more lavenders i don't know why i'm always you know i tried to do a crochet with me here let's do a quick i'll make one lavender but i tried to do a crochet with me of me making some more complicated flowers like the violets and it was like me here wait i have to count four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. It started with me like this, and I'm like, haha, hello, welcome to my crochet with me, you know, today we're making whatever. And then literally two minutes into the video, it was like, like this. And you can't see anything, and I'm just like silent because I'm counting and I'm focusing on it. And I just was not talking about anything and it was, I was like, oh, I can't do that. I could possibly do an assemble with me type of vlog thing, but I think lavender is the only thing. It's the one I always, I always bring to markets too, because it's the only thing I can make while not thinking. And even if I like count wrong a little bit, it's like so forgiving that it doesn't really matter. Meanwhile, the other ones, I would have to like go back or like recount or whatever, so... Anyway, that's <laughs> crochet with me is not really a thing, but I might make some dragonflies because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that my dragonfly pattern to make this little guy, sorry, the wings are all, to make this little guy, if you've watched Nanalan, it reminds me of like, you know, the old like kids shows when everything's on a stick, but it's going to be a free pattern. So you can make one and it works with blanket yarn too i have one but it's not very good i might make a video of me crocheting crochet with me but making it with blanket yarn because i'm still learning with that so i can kind of just think out loud when i make it so yeah the free pattern will be on my instagram early next week so follow me at, at made with april on instagram if you want to keep up with that all my most recent updates are on there and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, please, and like. Oh my god, I just shake the whole desk. Um, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to turn your notifications on because I've noticed in my YouTube analytics that I've gotten a couple more subscribers recently, but none of you guys are coming back to watch the video. I don't know if you guys can't see it or what, but don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you!